Welcome back to Newton's Laws of Motions, The Adventures of Tonathan. We will be working on inclined plane problems and finishing the story of Tonathan. After searching for Billy and Carl, Tonathan spots Billy sliding Carl, a 3 kilogram box, down a smooth frictionless inclined plane of 30 degrees. Draw a free body of the block, free body diagram of the block, find the normal force of the block, find the acceleration of the block. So these inclined plane problems can be a bit difficult. Let's first uh, start with the free body diagram. So we see that the box is like this. Force of gravity is always going to be straight down. And the normal force is always going to be perpendicular or 90 degrees to the surface. So it's going to be going to like this force normal and in this situation that's all there is so it's only gravity sliding it down and force normal that it's in contact with B is find the normal force of the block so when we're doing problems involving inclined planes what I like to do to make everything simple is to switch how it looks like so even though it's on a plane I'm gonna maneuver everything so it's on a flat plane and I find that this makes things a lot easier. So I'm just gonna tilt everything this way. So how this is gonna be is force of gravity is gonna be like this since I tilted it. And force normal since it's tilted is just gonna be straight up like this. Okay? And what's important to know is if this angle is 30 degrees, it says inclined plane of 30 degrees, that means the angle right here is going to be 30 degrees okay and what's important to know is what I'm going to call is I'm going to call this the force of gravity in the y direction is going to be equal to the force of normal force normal because since it's not moving in the y direction at all that means these two have to cancel out with each other so if I can find what this force of gravity is in this y direction I can find what the normal force is and I know force of gravity is just 3 times 10, so this is going to be 30. So force of gravity in the y direction, force of gravity in the y, is going to be equal to 30 times cosine of 30. Which is going to be equal to 30 times cosine of 30, 25.98. So if this is 25.98 newtons, that means the normal force is also 25.98 newtons. Okay. Part C is find the acceleration of the block. So with this question here, what force is allowing this block to accelerate? What's going to be allowing to accelerate is this force of gravity in the x direction. Okay. The y direction, everything cancels out, but in the x direction, it's moving. So I'm going to just do sum of all forces in the x equals mass times acceleration to x. And the only force in the x direction is this force of gravity in the x. So force of gravity in the x is equal to mass times acceleration to x. Force of gravity in the x is just going to be 30 times sine of 30, which is 1 half. Mass, which is 3. And then acceleration, which we're looking for. So I'm just going to do this. And then we see that this is going to be 5 meters per second squared down the incline. Okay, and that's how you do the traditional incline plane problem. What I really, so first draw the free body diagram, but then maneuver it so it's on, it's on a flat plane. It makes everything a lot easier. Uh, but what happens with Tonathan? Furious, Tonathan runs to his beloved box and begins pushing it back up the hill. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Tonathan pushes the three kilogram box Carl out of the ditch. He pushes it up the smooth frictionless incline plane of 30 degrees with the force of 40 newtons. Draw a free body diagram. Okay, so again, this is similar and maybe a little bit harder. We're gonna draw a free body diagram. Same thing, force of gravity is always going straight down. Force normal is always going perpendicular to the plane. and But now there's also a force applied going up the incline like this. So it says find the normal force on the block. So same thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this on a flat surface. So I'm tilting everything. So that means now the force of gravity is going to look like this because it's tilted. 
force normal straight up perpendicular and force applied like this and like we said so again this is 30 degrees this if that's 30 degrees that means over here is also 30 degrees so this force of gravity in the y direction is going to be the same as the force normal and force of gravity is 30 so this force of gravity is going to be 30 times cosine of 30 which is going to give us 25.98 newtons so this is 25.98 newtons find the acceleration of the block so this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because now again it's not accelerating in the y direction at all it's only accelerating in the x direction okay so we're going to be looking at the x direction sum of all forces in the x equals mass times acceleration x and there's two forces in the x direction there's this force applied that's going to the right and this force of gravity in the x direction. So I'm going to do minus force of gravity in the x because it's going to the left. Equals mass times acceleration x. Force applied is equal to 40. Force of gravity in the x is going to be equal to 30 times sine of 30. Which is just 15. And the mass is 3. And we're looking for the acceleration. Okay, we do a little bit of math here and then we find that this is going to be equal to 8.33 meters per second squared up the incline okay and when Tanta pushes the box up the hill Billy yells at him saying the box is not real uh oh Things are getting a little crazy right now. Once the box, Carl, reaches the top of the hill, Tonathan and Billy begin fighting over it. The six kilogram box is acted on by two forces, F1 and F2, as shown in the diagram. If the magnitude F1 is 13 newtons at 60 degrees and uh, F2, 11 newtons at 30 degrees, find the acceleration of the box, the normal force exerted on it by the box. Okay, so the first thing we always want to do is draw a free body diagram. So I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger because there's a lot of forces going on here. So free body diagram. Uh, we have this box. And it might be a little bit confusing to draw. But let's just start out. Force of gravity is going to go straight down. And then this F1... I'm going to be pointing it like this, F1, because that's how it's being pushed. It's being pushed downwards like that, and the angle is going to be right here, 60 degrees. F2 is going to be like this, and that angle is going to be over here. 30 degrees and then the last force is the normal force up here force normal okay so it says find the acceleration of the box so what we should know first of all is this box isn't going to be moving in the y direction at all it's only going to be moving in the x direction because there's a ground here it's only going to be moving in the x direction so when we find the acceleration, we only have to find the acceleration in the x direction because we know the f acceleration in the y direction is zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to find all the forces in the x direction. Um, so I'm going to find what F1x is equal to and what F2x is going to be equal to. And let's, I guess, let's try to fill this out. So force of gravity, this is 6 kilograms, so this is going to be 60 newtons, 6 times 10. F1 is equal to 13 newtons. F2 is equal to 11 newtons. And that's what we know so far. But we can find what F1x is. This is going to be 13 times cosine of 60. Okay. And if we put that into our calculators, we get that that's going to be equal to 6.5 newtons. 
And now for f2, x, that's going to be 11 times cosine of 30. And that's going to be equal to 9.53 newtons. Okay. And maybe for now, let's just also find everything in the y direction as well. Because it will help us later on. So let's find what the f1 in the y direction is going to be equal to. And what f2 in the y direction is going to be equal to. So f1 in the y is going to be equal to 13 times sine of 60. So let's find that 13 times sine of 60, which is going to be 11.26 newtons. And then F2Y is going to be equal to 11 times sine of 30, which is going to be equal to 5.5 newtons. Okay, so now we have everything drawn out. We know all the components of everything. And as we said, the acceleration is in the X direction. So we're going to do sum of all forces in the x equals mass times acceleration in the x. We have two forces in the x. F1x, that's going to the right, and F2x, that's going to the left, is equal to mass times acceleration x. So this is going to be 6.5 minus 9.53 is equal to the mass of the box, which is 6 times acceleration. And the acceleration is going to be 6.5 minus 9.53 divided by 6 is going to be negative 0 0.505 negative 0 0.505 meters per second squared so it's going to the left over here so it looks like Billy is winning over here uh, the normal force exerted on it by the ground so we want to find what the normal force is so this is a bit more complicated what we're going to be looking at now is since the normal force is in the y direction, we're going to be looking at everything in the y. So sum of all forces in the y equals mass times acceleration in the y. So let's look at everything in the y. We have force normal that's going up, force of gravity, which is going down, force of 1 in the y direction, which is going down, force of 2 in the y direction, which is also going down, is equal to mass times acceleration in the y. Force normal, we don't know, we're looking for that. Force of gravity is 60. Force 1 in the y is negative 11.26 minus 5.5. Uh, the mass being 6, but the acceleration, it's not moving in the y direction at all, so this is going to be 0. So this whole thing is 0. So the normal force is going to be all of this combined over here. 60 plus 11.26 plus 5.5 which gives us 76.76 .76 newtons. Okay. But uh, what happens with this fight? Finally, exhausted, Billy stops. Why do you love boxes? You can push them, kick them, and pull them, but they will never respond to you, Billy says. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? So this is kind of the end right here. So in conclusion, Tonathan realizes that Billy is right. That his happiest moments were never with the boxes, but were the brief moments he was able to talk and interact with other people, like Billy and Charlie. Charlie? He decides to live a new life without boxes and decides to burn all of his boxes. Carl smiles. What the heck? Alright, thanks for watching.